Tonight's Rebound Report, Kristen Byrne is getting answers for frustrated freelancers still waiting to see an unemployment check from the state. And that's after the Department of Workforce Development added more resources to help speed up the process. Last month, the DWD got staffing help from other state agencies, and it added a separate call center specifically for people who are self-employed. But still, people tell us they have been waiting months for their money. As of March 17th, I have no job. Charlotte Michael lives in Wisconsin, but used to work as a tour guide in Chicago and other U.S. cities, making about $20,000 during spring and summer. Then COVID-19 hit. It's a fun job. I love my job. You know, I just wish it didn't go away so soon. On April 23rd, she applied for PUA, Pandemic Unemployment Assistance. It's unemployment pay for independent contractors or gig workers like herself. Now it's August, and she is still waiting for that money. How often would you say you're calling and asking about the payments? Every day. I wish somebody at the State Department would a call or would answer the phone just to give us some hope that maybe they are processing the application. Like with normal unemployment benefits, the state admits to a backlog of PUA claims. The agency told us processing these applications takes time since each person's income needs to be verified. About a month ago, the DWD had paid out 10 percent of PUA applicants. This week, we interviewed Department of Workforce Development Secretary Caleb Frostman. How many PUA applicants have been paid out? We have paid uh, about 41,000 people uh, PUA to date. But he says another 40,000 applicants are still waiting for their claims to be processed. What do you say to those people who say not fast enough? It's just not fast enough. I mean, we certainly understand uh, folks are in a really tough economic position. You know, we're working uh, in order of, of oldest claims first. We're making uh, strong progress week over week as far as the number of claims that we're processing. Uh, it took some time to get enough people on board and get those folks trained. Last month, 100 state employees were reassigned to the DWD to help process the large volume of unemployment claims. And Frostman also told us the agency added a separate call center specifically for PUA applicants. But he says the purpose of the call center is to help you apply for PUA. It's not for processing your claim. We're getting through the queue uh, in order and, and working as fast and as hard as we can to, to pay the folks that are uh, eligible based on the, the COVID-related requirements. How important to you is this money? Very important. I'm uh, retired and I am a widow. With increasing COVID-19 cases, Charlotte Michael won't be giving tours for some time. She does receive Social Security, so she says she can make ends meet for now. What are you going to do? I, your hands are tied. Everyone go, oh, we're all in this together. Let's all start in there. No, we aren't. <laughs> They're getting paid and I'm not. For The Rebound Milwaukee, I'm Kristen Byrne.